The Veteran Alliance's goal this season was to keep a rookie-rookie team in existence as an easy vote to send into elimination. Thanks to Priscilla's bold move by stealing Josh from Ashley, that is no longer possible. With all the vets now vulnerable and the truth null and void, let's begin the recap. Hello fellow couch potatoes, welcome to today's video. As the challenge spies, lies and allies cast return to headquarters from elimination, Priscilla and Jeremiah were in full celebration mode after their win. Nelson and Josh talked with Priscilla about her game-changing move. In confessional, Josh said he was worried they'd be a target for everyone to vote into elimination. Tori spoke with Josh and Corey about how a veteran will get voted into elimination for the first time. Corey said the vets need to realize they played a solid game, but it's now time to clock in and go to war. The veteran alliance is officially divided. Josh talked privately with Ashley, Kyle and Amanda about what Corey said earlier about let the games begin. He suggested that Corey is working with rookies Priscilla, Jeremiah and Bettina. Corey spoke with Nelson about the different mini alliances. Corey said there is a big brother group with Josh, Casey, Nanny, Emmy and Emmanuel. He also said Devon is working with CT, Kyle and Ed. They were unsure where rookie Logan was as far as his loyalty goes. Amber enjoyed some time with Jeremiah who she said was comforting her in the game. In another scene, Corey spoke with Devon about where his head was. He told Corey he should be fine because he doesn't wish to see CT or Ashley in another final. Logan and Big T talked about targeting her partner Nelson as their strategy for the game since he wasn't working with them. TJ introduced the daily challenge with a mud-filled cross-star full of different color balls or bombs. The teammates had to rush down into the mud and grab their specific color bombs. They would bring them back to their detonation station. The final ball they needed was a silver bomb, but there were fewer silver bombs than teams. TJ told them they'll compete until one team was left standing, and that would be the agency who was safe from elimination. Due to the physical nature of the mission, it involved some agents tackling down and battling castmates to get those silver bombs. CT tackled Ed down and Josh took off with the ball. However, Carl battled with him and then Corey tackled him down. Josh got upset over the others going against him. Moments later, Corey tossed the silver bomb to Jeremiah and the other vets took notice. Carl managed to get the bomb away and threw it to Ed, who escaped the round with Ashley. Corey and Josh started arguing after they lost in the daily mission. Corey told Josh he was there to win and they aren't down there playing patty cake. Guys, it's not that deep. After the agents advanced through two rounds, it came down to the final teams of Ashley and Ed, Big T and Nelson and Nanny and Logan. Ed, Logan and Nelson fought over the silver bomb. Logan told them not to fight him and they'd be safe. Nelson tackled Ed away so Logan and Nanny could win. They became the agency. Ashley started to have a meltdown while speaking in a room with Josh and Amanda. She was paranoid that Corey and Tori would try to get votes against her, so should go into elimination. Josh tried to assure her he'd work with others to make Corey the house vote and protect her. During the cast night of partying, Nanny told Priscilla she doesn't need to worry about going back into elimination. Amber talked to Ed and Ashley about how she feels like nobody talks to her. Ashley said it's been the way it's been for her too. They agreed it's because they're challenge winners. The agency, Logan and Nanny, 
talked about putting Corey and Bettina into elimination against Jeremiah and Amber. Nanny said she liked the plan because she lost to Amber in last season's final. Corey rallied Priscilla, Nelson and Big T to vote in Ashley at deliberation. Apart from that, Ashley talked with Devon, Tori, CT and Carl about them voting Corey and Bettina into elimination because Corey is working with rookies. At deliberation, Corey said he's never made sneaky deals or backstabbed others. He tried to paint a picture that Ashley was a snake for backstabbing Hunter when she took all the money on final reckoning. It's old news. Bananas did the same thing. Can we move on? She told everyone Corey plays in the middle of voting and that's how he gets to finals. They argued back and forth. Nelson got involved and asked Amanda why she's sticking up for Ashley, who only gave her a $500 gift card after winning a million dollars on final reckoning. Ashley claps back. Ashley repaid that favor to Amanda, but Ashley points out that Corey never repaid Nelson after Nelson volunteered to go into elimination for Corey. Ooh. After 20 minutes was up, everyone voted with Corey and Bettina as the compromised agents. Corey got into an argument with Carl who said he didn't trust anything Ashley said. Corey asked him why he voted how he did then. They had a war of words before Carl walked off. Bettina talked to Corey about choosing new teammates if they won elimination so they wouldn't be house vote next time. The compromised agents, Corey and Bettina, went down into the ground level of the lay for the elimination. Then it was time for the agency to give them opponents. They chose Jeremiah and Amber to face them in elimination. TJ introduced the latest elimination event involving transporting puzzle pieces across a balance beam from one platform to another. They had to work together to ensure they were balanced based on their weight. The first team to get their pieces to the opposite side and solve the puzzle would win. Amber came up with a smart strategy where she did a crab walk and Jeremiah used his strength to move her across the beam. Corey and Bettina started using a similar strategy trying to catch up but they were struggling. Fatigue and stress were taking a toll on everyone's bodies. Corey and Bettina used a new strategy to stay closer together as they moved across the beam. It worked out well to help them catch up. Bettina started working on their puzzle and eventually won the event. Amber said she and Jeremiah will stay in contact after this. TJ congratulated Corey and Bettina for a great win. They thought it was time to decide their teammates, but TJ told them to go rejoin the group. He told them they need to be prepared for anything and he'd see them soon. With that, Tori and Devon were left partnerless. What do you think is the twist? Why was Tori and Devon left partnerless? Do you think we heading into individuals? I honestly wouldn't mind that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. On a side note, I bet Fessy was pleased that Amber was eliminated. I think he also enjoyed it when Casey, for no reason, no reason whatsoever, decided to put her hands on Amber during the mission when Amber almost made it to the rope. Casey's secret vendetta with Amber is somehow still going strong for no reason. Thankfully, the image of Amber just plopping her butt right on Casey's chest was the only clap back I could appreciate in that moment. You see what I did there? You do? Good. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.